And it's great to have Taylor Hines with us from Liverpool Women's Team. Taylor, thanks so much for coming in today and joining us. I just want to go back to the start a bit because I know that you joined Liverpool obviously in 2020, but I'm always really interested, especially for women's players, how you got into the game because I never got a chance to play football. So I, I, it's quite interesting to see how you started and how you got into the game and, and when you realised you could t do this as a job. No, yeah, thank you for having me. Um, well, I started obviously when I was about seven years old. Um, my brother used to play football. Um, I feel like we were quite a sporty household. Like even my mum and dad, they like sports as well. Um, but yeah, just growing up, I used to do loads of different sports, and I think one thing it was just football that stood out for me. And obviously, my brother playing football. I think when I was younger, I just wanted to do what my brother did, copy my brother all the time. So when he'd go to his games, I'd go along with him and I'd probably just be on the side kicking the ball mm. around. And we ended up playing for the same team, but a different age group. And then my dad was my manager as well. <laughs> so it was quite a family um, team. But no, yeah, that's how I started. And probably thanks to my brother. <laughs> was there a point where you, where you thought, OK, I want to do this as a job, or you knew that you had that something that it took to be able to do it professionally and make it a career? Yeah, I think I just loved it so much and obviously growing up I did other sports and I used to dance as well and do other things but I just, it got to a stage where I had to choose, I was doing too much, I was doing swimming and I just thought, no, I just want to play football, I love playing football and in the end I had to choose and I chose football and I'm <laughs> so glad I did because of where I am now but yeah, no, I think it's just... I just love the game and there's so much passion in this game and you know, it's just amazing to play football. And you've, you've sort of been, you know, through that career, I think you've turned professional at 18 and you've you've sort of seen how the women's game progressed as you've been growing up and, and been immersed in it. Do you think that there's been a lot of progress with how people view women's football and, and the attention around it and the fans, I guess you've been able to witness that literally, you know, year on year? Yeah, definitely. I think it's really improved. I think there's still a long way to go. Um, but from when I was... 13 and the players who I used to look up to and the amount of fans that I could see at the women's games compared to now whereas probably I'm the one that some of the girls look up to and there's more fans um, coming to our games and it's just amazing to see how much is progressing and like I said there's still a long way to go but it's heading in the right direction. Yeah, it's great. I was at, I was at Prenton Park at the weekend. It's great to see all the young fans come over at the end and just want to meet you all and talk to you all. You obviously joined, I think, during the pandemic, so you probably played your first season without any fans. So how has it been having them all back and feeling like you can finally build that connection with them all properly in person? Yeah, I think I was so used to playing without fans from last season that the first game that we of the season that we did play with fans, it was like... It felt like there was so many people there because it, it just I wasn't used to it. But it's so nice to have them there because it's like like everyone says it's like your twelfth man, and they just they know they just give you a bit more of that energy and they just help you through the games. And obviously it's nice to see them at the end of the game and say thank you for coming. And obviously there's a lot of girls and boys there that want your signatures and stuff like that. So it's nice to give back to them f for coming to watch us. Yeah, definitely. And looking at your career a little bit, obviously you, you started at Arsenal and you went to Everton, which you probably <laughs> don't like to talk about too no. much now, but you, you obviously joined for Liverpool in, in 2020. What made you want to join the club and, and how have you found being here in the city and, and playing for Liverpool? Well, I love the city to start off with. Um, obviously being in Liverpool for two years before that, but I think just Liverpool, the club itself, it's such a big club and it's such a family club and just everyone in Liverpool is so nice not just the club but in the city itself and that just makes me feel at home now and I'm so happy to be playing for this club and yeah it's just I think it's one of the best decisions I've made. Amazing. And there's quite a few new players this year. Obviously, you, you're working towards promotion. You've had Katie Stengel come in recently. She was in the studio a couple of weeks ago. It seems like you're at a stage where you're all just really gelling really well, all getting on really well, and, and the morale in the team it is really good. Can you give us a bit of an insight into what it's like in training, into what the, what the mood in the team is like at the moment as you're going for promotion? Yeah, definitely. I think the team's amazing. Um, I can say probably this is one of the best teams that I've been with like with how close we all are and I think our psychologist and the staff like Beardy have really helped with that um we do a lot of work obviously off the pitch with the psychologist and recently it's been really helping um but no the girls are great 
so much banter within the team and I think that's probably what gets keeps us going is just just trying to relax and stay calm and stay positive and obviously we take that to the pitch as well. Yeah and you mentioned Beardy there I think you've worked with three managers during your time at Liverpool How, how's it been working with Matt this season and, and how do you feel like he's helped you progress your game and, and the team as a whole? No yeah I really enjoy working with Matt um, he's just is a great manager because he's just really honest and he just pu- he keeps pushing you and for me myself he keeps pushing me and he'll just tell me to play with a smile on my face and for me that's when I'm at my best is just when I'm playing with a smile on my face when I'm confident and that's really helped me to progress this season and he's just just working on things individually with him to help me progress as a player it's been really good. So he just encouraged you to go out and enjoy it and, and said that the results and the rest will follow because it, fe- it feels like that from an outside perspective as a fan that you're all just enjoying it so much and the results and the success are coming after that. Yeah, definitely. I think he always says just take one game at a time and there's, don't put pressure on, your sh- on yourselves and that's what we need to keep not doing because obviously there's a lot of talk behind it about the promotion but we just need to relax and just focus on ourselves and like Billy says, just take one game at a time. Have you had any highlights of the season so far for you personally or, or as a team? Um, I'd definitely say probably recently one of my individual ones, probably my goal against Coventry. Um, I think that's like one of the best goals <laughs> I've scored really, so I was obviously happy with that. And um, I think just as a team, just where we are in the league, obviously we're, I don't know how many games now, unbeaten, whether that's a draw or a win. Um, and to have that going forward and going into each game is really positive and it's probably what keeps us like motivated to wanting to get that win and draw because obviously now we're close to promotion but we've just got to keep our head on our shoulders. Yeah, and you, you made your 50th appearance at the weekend. How, what are you looking to improve in the seasons ahead and what's your aims for your, your time at Liverpool? And You've obviously signed a new contract as well and committed your future to the club. So how do you see the next few years panning out and what are your, what are your big aims? Um, to get 50 caps already is a great achievement for me. Um, I'm quite proud of it. And to get 50 for Liverpool, yeah, it means a lot um, to me. I think, yeah... I just see Liverpool as being my club now and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else and I just love being here and I love being around the people in Liverpool. Um, I think me, I just want to keep up my consistency of playing, being happy, being confident, um, obviously just keep getting in the starting lineup, and hopefully with that I can progress with England as well and hopefully get in a, a senior call up one day yeah I mean, I'm sure you will and I just want to look ahead a bit to the weekend it's obviously a huge game in the in the title and everything when you're playing Durham and you played them back in November you you won 2-0 what kind of team are they to play against people that perhaps haven't seen much of them this season or, or at all they're definitely a, an aggressive team and well structured and we know that they're hard to beat down um, but we've just got a play like we've been playing and hopefully the three points will come. We know it's going to be a tough game. It always is against Durham, but that's what we want. We want those tough games, and we want to come out with a win and like prove to everyone that we can. You looking forward to the weekend? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously Durham. The last game against Durham was a complete different game, and all, and I think the fans really helped with that and really motivated us all as well. So. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to hopefully another three points. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I'm not sure if you know about everything going on at the, at the weekend. There's a big Santa Charter putting on a big fan zone. There's John Barnes, Farrah Williams going to be there. There's a live DJ. There's also free buses from Stanley Park. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, go and get them because it's going to be a, a really great weekend. But it's a big event going on. Did you know all that was happening around it? Or? No, I know. I might get to the game earlier. <laughs> yeah, earlier you should now. go and get involved in all yeah. the fan zones. Yeah, it's really good. I like, I like the sound of a live DJ. I mean, I know John Barnes and Farrah Williams there with the know. live DJ sounds great too. I know so. I'll definitely be there now. <laughs> yeah but going to the women's game is a, is a great day out anyway so if, if any of you are listening and you haven't been it's it's a really good weekend would you say to come and, and support you all and, and be there at the sidelines. Yeah definitely hopefully we can get that win for you if you, you do decide to come. Yeah I'm sure you will get that win but thank you so much for coming in and chatting to us it's been it's been great to have you in the studio. Best of luck for the rest of the season and can't wait to celebrate you when we're, we're sure you'll get promotion. Thank you.